Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings. And today I wanted to talk about our plan for teaching critical thinking skills. So um, this is in work, in the works, right? I am going to test this out. I've got a plan written and we're gonna test it out this semester and we're gonna see how it goes. So my learner is in fourth grade and I wanted to make sure that we were not just teaching a lot of facts to memorize, but teaching critical thinking skills and how to figure out things. Um, in science, we did like a physics and engineering. Um, my kid is really interested. There's a science fair coming up this spring. My kid's really interested in doing like an invention for the science fair. Um, and, and so I wanted to make sure that we're really covering like critical thinking skills in depth. Um, so that that's not an area that my learner is missing out on. So I've started um, pulling resources together and I have a plan and we're gonna test it out. Um, when I'm recording this, we'll actually be testing it out starting tomorrow. Um, so I'll let you know how it goes uh, later in the year. Um, but I wanted to go over sort of what we're planning to cover in case someone else is looking for resources along how do we teach critical thinking. Um, so when I started down this path, I also was looking at like philosophy. So it's all sort of tied in like philosophy and critical thinking. And we're going to make it a subject and a lesson and we're going to do it regularly and we're going to see how it goes. Um, so some of the first things that we've already started to cover because I found them in the fall semester and um, we started doing them was one is there's a book called Question Mark and it's about this little boy named Mark and he asks these deep questions and goes on this adventure with like um, shadow animals that came to life right um so there's um a couple of other books from that um but this one's written uh much like like for little kids i think and then they sort of advance um so we're starting with that one um and there's a there's the learner book and then there's like the teacher guide that's just like one page it's like what did we read about in this and what do we know from philosophy about this and it's really short and it's nice like brief introduction um the other thing that we already have um were i found these uh critical thinking cards uh from the thinkingshop.org and they cover um bias and fallacies so um what are what kind of bias might somebody have what kind of fallacy again if you're thinking like logical arguments um what would be bias and fallacies that came up so we have already kind of looked at those we're going to look at them again um but they're just little you know there's just a card deck and it's kind of like a flashcard, I guess, where you just read it and um, learn what those are. So um, those are things that we've already started. And then from there, we are going to cover a few more things. So this is the one that I have so far. This is called Philosophy Friends. Um, specifically, this is um, Rawls Rabbit and the Fair Race, but they have others. So it looks like they might have like eight or so other ones, nine, 10, I can't count that fast. <laughs> um, so I'm going to look at getting these and it's basically going to introduce a concept um, in the uh, framework of a little book that will be very easy for a kid to sort of understand the concept. So we're gonna have um, this one and then hopefully a few more of those again to sort of like, make these concepts make sense to um to my learner and those are definitely around like specific um philosophy uh philosophers and and their topic um the other one that i'm going to use so so those will be sort of like our, our storytelling books i guess um the other one that i'm going to use is this one logic to the rescue adventures in reason um, and this is, there's a high school student who was in a high school debate match 
and she lost and so she ran and hid in a supply closet and then found a magical kingdom and logic is going to help her save the kingdom um so I thought this might be cool again to sort of have like a, a storybook that incorporates those critical thinking logic skills. So that's going to be our our sort of storytelling version, right? Like our I, again, I don't know that you really have like a whole lot of storytelling for this, but that's what we have. So that's what we're going to do. So then the other things that we're going to cover as sort of our our fact-based introduction stuff. Um, we're not going to cover the whole book, <laughs> but I did get the philosophy book, um, Big Ideas Simply Explained. Um, this is one of those DK books. Uh, we've got a lot of those and we like those, um, but just the introduction to uh, philosophy and the history and systems of thought. Um, that's what we're going to cover to sort of kick off like philosophy and how we think about things why we think about things and then we have it as a reference if we want to go into more detail about particular topics that int get introduced later the main ones that i'm using for like our curriculum i guess would be these three so big thinkers and big ideas an introduction to eastern and western philosophy for kids um and these are nice they're they're got a little topic so they've got a question they've got like two to three pages that talk about um philosophers or people that talked about that they have a thought experiment and then that's it and then it moves on to another topic so i went through this and these next two books that i'm going to show you and i've kind of figured out what order i want to do them in um, and so that's like the curriculum piece that I'm doing so that they all are going to cover top the same kind of topic in a slightly different way. So that is um, our first one. So that's going to introduce the topics. Um, we have this one, the second book, the cartoon introduction to philosophy. So like I said, I went through that one and then lined it up where it matches these. This is a graphic novel style and has um, five sections, I believe is how it divides it out. Um, and uh, six sections, logic, perception, minds, free will, God and ethics. So we're going to cover them in this order because it's a cartoon. This one, I don't want to, I don't want to mess up the order. So we'll go in this order and then we'll have other items from there as they match on to that. Um, and then the third one is going to be big ideas for curious minds. Um, an introduction to philosophy. And this one I like because it's not necessarily a philosopher or a con, uh, it's a concept, I guess, but it's like a, a why. So why we procrastinate. And then it talks about um, what that might be. And it introduces an idea from somebody, from a philosopher. Um, and then it moves on to the next one, why it's hard to know what you want to do with your life, right? So this one, we're just gonna go through kind of sequentially um, because it's not like in a specific order. So we're gonna do a combination of those three and, and kind of jump around to cover those topics. So that's gonna be sort of the, the philosophy side of things. And then I have two sort of workbook, um, types of activities. Um, the first one is the basics of critical thinking. Um, and this is from the critical thinking company, which um, we have gotten other books from them, like Reading Detective and Editor-in-Chief and Word Roots. Did we get Reading Detective? We might not have gotten Reading Detective. Um, critical Thinking Detective, that's the one we had. Um, so this is uh, similar. And it's got uh, concepts about critical thinking, and it has little um, uh, practice uh, activities where they get to make decisions or solve a problem or eliminate something um, as the critical thinking skills. So we're going to work through that as a workbook. 
And then the other one I have is building thinking skills, which starts off a little bit more um, basic, I think, than some of the others and maybe more basic than what we particularly need, but it builds upon it. So it covers higher order higher order thinking activities, logical thinking, similarities and differences, sequences, classifications, analogies, anonyms, synonyms, spatial awareness, vocabulary development, writing and following directions, uh, or following and writing directions, descriptive writing, geom uh, geometry concepts, map reading, graphic organizers, and more. Um, it's huge, um, but it's not, it's got a flow chart, so you can kind of jump around a little bit. You could go back and forth, or you could go down and then up the other column, um, depending upon how you want to do this. Um, so I think we're going to work on it again, um, uh, maybe a little bit more along the lines of talking about and writing about and visualizing things that are the same and different. Um, and then, and how that plays into critical thinking. So, I mean, you gotta have basic thinking skills to have basic critical thinking skills, right? So it does work up to like problem solving things in here um, and finding again, like similarities and differences and stuff. So um, I am looking forward to this. Um, like I said, uh, we're gonna test it out. We're going to try and see how it goes. Um, but I wanted to, you know, purposefully teach critical thinking skills um, because I want to make sure that that's not a gap and that that's a skill that my learner has. And I am glad that I found some books. And so we're going to kind of do this philosophy slash critical thinking, thinking skills. Um, curriculum for this spring, and I will let you know how it goes. Uh, let me know if there are other resources, if you've taught critical thinking skills or philosophy, be philosophy before um, to uh, elementary school aged and what that might look like, if there are other resources I should look for. Um, and uh, thank you for stopping by. I'll let you know how it goes. Bye.